Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And the Paul. And your girl, Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So today we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, because I want to say thank you for subscribing. You guys are really amazing. And yeah, as usual, I've just come out of work and I decided, you know what? Let me just do something for you guys, you know? Let me just join you guys. Let me just join her. So yeah, today we're going to do another reaction video and... We're gonna do Andrew Ted on what uh, he tell his 17 year old self. Plus Tristan Ted. I think that's the brother or something. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Emergency meetings are the core of our monumental success. What would each of you tell your 17 year old self? Well, let's not let's not answer time travel questions like buy Bitcoin or some stupid shit like that. Let's let's actually. Right. What yeah. would I um? Stop wasting your time. So I was 17. I was working at a fast food restaurant making sandwiches. Now, the internet didn't really exist as such, but looking back on it, it was part of my journey. And I regret nothing because I ended up where I am. So would I even go back and tell myself anything is the question. If I had to, um, it would be to, to not burn so much of my time. Let's talk to the 17-year-olds who are listening. You know, do you, do you finish your job, come home, play video games, et cetera? That's what I used to do when I was 17 a little bit. What I didn't do is come home and think, okay, fuck. Let's let's work on something new. Let's try and build something. Let's start a, a, a YouTube channel. Let's start creating content instead of consuming content. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd tell myself to be a bit, little bit more proactive with my free time and not fuck around so much. Starting, let's go. Let's go on the line. Yeah, I'd, I'd tell myself, don't bother pursuing like a chemistry degree and go straight into entrepreneurship. Yeah, that was that was basically it. Like, so you I, have I, a chemistry I, degree. I do. I have a so, double degree so, in chemistry. So you're mixing the drinks tonight then. I so think you're you're come on, Ken, come on, chemistry so why, boy. Why don't you believe? Why don't you believe in traditional education? It's a complete. No, this waste. is important no, because a, this is one of the biggest yeah. proportions. This is one of the biggest proportions of people's lives and debt, and it's also one of the biggest lies that's purported by society. This is a really big, important subject. So, why, as someone who's been through the educational system, because I've never been through it, right? I have my views on it, but you've been through it. Why do you not firmly believe in the educational system? Well, first of all, university is just one big booze up. For yeah. the most part, it's like that, a four-year booze that, up. That would be terrible. Losers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we booze with purpose. Yeah, right? that's true. Yeah. It's a booze up that you're paying for in debt, mm -hmm. right? You're wasting all the, the most precious years of your life. These, these years where you've got so much vitality and inspiration and drive and hunger. And instead of actually channeling that into, you know, learning a monetizable skill, which you can get financial independence from and location independence with, Right. You're, you're channeling it into rote learning something, ending up in a career where you're going to be miserable working a nine to five job for the rest of your life and maybe running around chasing after some pussy. That's really what you're spending four years doing. That time would be much better spent learning practical, valuable skills like sales, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. Things that in today's day and age, which you can leverage your time on so you can live a lifestyle you actually want to because you, you talk about this all the time. Like the the collapse is coming, man. And we're very fortunate that we we kind of got out Before. early enough. Yeah. But some of these young kids who are like, if, if you're a young kid right now in university, man, a traditional university, I feel sorry for you. Like mm. that's scary. That was scary. Dark shit days are coming. Dark days are coming. Justin Waller, what would you tell a 17 year old version of yourself? <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to get flagged for racism, racial discrimination. <laughs> you should. You should. Hey, you should. I, hey I, I used to live in Indiana. If I'd never moved to London, I'd be talking like you too. That's why I nail the accent so perfectly. That's a poll right there. All right, you talk. I'll do the poll. What's the poll? Did I nail the accent? Yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> Man, 17, I, I, would, I would tell you that if it hurts, you might be doing the right thing. That's, you know, really, that's good. Go find pain. Most of the time, you're going to find a reason. If, if you think something is going to hurt or it's scary to you, that's probably what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's going to the gym, if it's going to talk to that girl that nobody else will go talk to because she's too pretty. If it's if it's taking a fight or, 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 or trying to make a sale that's bigger than you thought it should be going after some big kind of revenue, asking for asking for a contract that's bigger than what you're used to or you think that is possible for you. Enjoy yourself playing American football like yep. you did. You got a badass scar, by the way. Yeah, it's a bad boy. Badass go scar, go yeah. do something that's painful, whether it be from physical pain or fear. And most of the time, if you can if you can find that, 
and go towards it, go looking for that pain, especially at that young age when your testosterone is so high, then you're probably doing the right thing. You're probably on the right path. Do that. You know, you know, in your gut, do yeah. that. Go after that. 17 year old Andrew, what would you tell yourself? I think Justin actually nailed it. He did. I, I know you nailed it. Do hard things. Na- name, name a single attribute for masculinity, which is going to come from a, a place other than trauma or pain. I talk about this all the time. Zero. People say I've had a traumatic life. I say, well, then you're very, very fortunate. You had a traumatic life. Now you may have misused that trauma. You may have misplaced it. You may have accepted the matrix telling you that you now have an excuse to fail as opposed to using it to grow. But every single man of value went through trauma and they went through pain. It's going to be painful to get strong, painful to get rich, painful to become important. It's going to be painful to become good with women. Your heart's going to get broken a bunch of times. You have to be prepared for the pain. If you're not ready for pain, you're never going to be anything that, that matters. So Justin just absolutely and utterly nailed it. My kickboxing coach used to say to me, I used to come in the gym, say, what do you hate the most? And I said, I hate running. He said, okay, you're going running. I say, why? He goes, because whatever you hate is what you need. Whatever you hate is what you need. I want to spar, bag work, pads, no problem. Running, I didn't want to run, but that's what you need. And that's what life's about. You're not going to be able to go through life avoiding pain and also becoming a man of quality. You're going to have to be that guy who's been through so much shit that he can wake up and go, this ain't nothing. This, this ain't nothing compared to back then. This ain't nothing compared to that time. You know, and if you're not going to be that guy, then you're going to always suffer the consequences of not being that guy. There's pain to become important and there's pain in not being important. So you have to make a choice. So I think Justin absolutely not only nailed it. I think his answer is even better than mine could be. You need to find something you're afraid of, find something that could hurt you and go do it. And that's one of the great things about being young, right? You're basically superhuman. Yeah. All of us at our age, we're all in our 30s. I remember when I was 21. Bro, I run could run through a wall. Bro, <laughs> bro, I could drink all night. Yeah. I run 20 miles. Fight you all couldn't day. hurt me. Like I you could I had Wolverine like healing abilities. And this is actually one of the problems with the world today. I know it's the internet's fucked this up because we have all these youngsters who have a voice. They all think they know something on Twitter and on the internet, these kids, right? When I was 23, 22, I didn't know shit. I'm 35 now. I'm one of the smartest men on the planet. And when I was 23, I didn't know shit. When you're 35, you're definitely going to still be a dumbass. So when you're 23, like you are now, you don't know anything. Your only attribute is the fact you have Wolverine-like healing abilities. You're not using it. Stop talking. Start listening. Get out there. Get hurt. Get the fuck back up. That And, and there's, a, there's a degree. There's also something I want you to comment on from the football perspective. But there is a degree of wisdom that comes from physical physicality. I learned a whole bunch of shit about the world from just having my ass kicked. It wasn't even conversations. <laughs> it was just getting beaten up. And you learn about the world from a, I write tweets and people are like, that's so wise. Where'd you learn that? I was like, oh, kicked in the face. <laughs> that's how. These things first, what do you think? And what would you advise the youngest self? Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I think their views were good. I feel like um, you, you, can't, you, you can't be you can't be at a successful place when you're trying to escape pain. Pain has to be there, regardless. You have to endure pain for you to be someone or something. Do you understand? There are great men out there. They have gone through pain okay. to look at them. I mean, so much. It can be. Um, just going out there, working their ass off, just going out there, just trying to um, uh, do what? Uh, waking up early in the morning, try to figure out one or two things. If you're an athlete or something, you have to run every day, practice every day, you know, you understand? And pain, it doesn't mean that you have to get hurt or something like that, you get it? I mean, pain in a way that sometimes when you want to get something, you can be on your computer just trying to figure out What's the next move? Do you understand? So this pain translation means putting in work. This is how I'm thinking. For for him, Andrew, and this other guy, Paul, they think of like you have to go out there and you know get yourself out. But I don't know what it means actually. I don't know what pain they're talking about. Do you understand? But what I'm trying to translate here is more like you have to go out there and get something that you can learn and make sure you feel the pain when you're trying to learn that thing. That's what I'm saying. Is it really the pain that you feel or is the fact that I'm putting in work that drains you? Yeah, you that's the pain. Yeah, that's the pain. Because look, I can be working every day when I come back home. I feel so tired. That's the pain, yeah? 
but again i still up late i still i stay i stay up late again try to figure out one or two things that's pain already so i mean you have to be at a position where you need that pain for you to actually become somebody and it it is inevitable trust me i don't think you can be just successful without enduring any any sort of pain I don't want quite pain or quite sweat without you sweating. Yeah, you can call it sweat also. Sweating for something that you want. No. And also, what I'll, 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 what I will advise myself, the young seventeen-year-old self, is that uh, focus on yourself. You know. What were Be, you doing at seventeen? <clears throat> at seventeen, I didn't know who I was actually. You know. I was just a regular boy who thought maybe no I, I'm saying at that time I, I I just felt like I could just I could just be there you know I was not even thinking about anything I think I was in high school so it was more like I'm the shit in high school I'm, I'm like you know I mean people are there they like me yes, I said, you know. when. yes Lil Wayne and all <laughs> those kind of things you know because we, we had to we, we were singing back in high school and it was just one of those times where you go to other schools for symposium, you go sing, or you come back, maybe you're good at this tournament. So people just know you for some reason, you know. So you felt like there's nothing more to to do but just sit back and just look at people, just look at you and, and just feel good about it, you know. But if I was told what to do, I could have said focus more on important things than things that not add value to myself yeah what about you what do you think about the, the entire thing what do you think about their views um i don't know about the pain part but of course you have to sweat to get what you want in life mm -hmm. and whatever you have to do to make it do it do you understand don't just think i don't they also spoke about school. I don't think school really prepares us for the real world. Yeah, very important. I uh, feel like we're more relaxed so when we finish school. I yeah. finish school, I go to university, I get a job. It doesn't work like that. It really, really doesn't. So, and I don't know. It depends. It depends. Some parents actually prepare you for such a thing. Mm -hmm. And maybe they're training you in something like they said, marketing or whatever it is. But now, because I feel like, uh, I don't know, because I'm trying to think of myself and what I was doing at 17, because I believe if I had the YouTube channel at 17, I would have been, I would, really have, far. I would have had content. Just yeah. Probably at that time you're traveling, you know. You're yes, because I know stuff. I was traveling at that time. A lot of traveling. And I feel like I would Not have Not that you can't travel now, but you know, at that time, it, it was like beautiful, I mean, not beautiful moments, I mean, just moments that you're not even thinking about. It just happened. Yeah, it was happening, and it was, I had so many opportunities, like great mm. places that I visited. I just feel like I would have done a lot. So, if I have to advise my younger self or 17 year old self, I would say, I think I was done with school anyway. So, I would advise myself to, um, and I've said this in one of our vlogs, it's actually on this channel. I said, I told myself to stop being shy. I think that was, yeah. that one, I, I don't even know what was happening. Stop don't be being, shy. what? I'm saying don't be shy. Yeah, I told myself not to like be shy. I just confidence. go for whatever I wanted. And yeah, speak up more. Yeah, like uh, speak up. Yeah, speak up more. What I wanted to say to finish off my sentence. That's why I said. That's why sometimes it's good to give credit where it's due. I don't think I'd ever think of sitting in front of a camera without you or doing some of the stuff that <laughs> I do now. Do you understand? Yeah, I pushed her actually. I saw potential in her. I mean, she 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 can do things, but you know sometimes you need someone to point you at that direction so that you can go yeah so it's true what you're saying when when you're young you know you have that because i remember when i was young we, we used to go to these places like in my in my primary level I, I was in a very good school 
so we could go to these national parks national reserves amazing places Amboseli, Masai Mara all these places imagine if I was I was having a camera at that time and just creating content I would have been somewhere I would have, I mean trust me I would have not have made it. been, been <laughs> going to work like I'm coming back to work right now you get it so no so the thing is the uh, the question is do you think what do you think about traditional education What's traditional education? The education that people go through nowadays, like you have to memorize chemistry, you have to do this. What you, what, what we went through? We don't even use those things. I'm still trying to figure out those equations from math one way to apply them. Because I think it's just for me. I'm thinking. We should have been okay. You see? No, finish your sentence. For me, I'm thinking it was just a little bit of waste of time, to be honest. Just give us. The not, pointers give not. us the key pointers then let's move on you can't tell me i'm going to study uh, what log uh, oh. mathematics this is thing algorithm and then there's no there's one thing is it the met no there's there's a book there's a log book and then you follow the man i was like what is this <laughs> what is this? Am I gonna use this when I come out of? I never used anything like that. But not everything. Yeah, but there's accounts that this, people uh, actually use. There's agriculture. I mean, teachers mathematics, English, home economy, basics, and then let there's us just economics. choose what we want to. Yeah, um, home science. Where they teach you stuff. Yeah, you know, give us the basics. Mathematics, yes, required. Just a little bit of mathematics. Not those. I don't know. And then give us a little bit of chemistry. Not, not even. Do we even need chemistry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somehow. Not that you're going to apply it at the job that you have now, but you need it. Exactly. So I'm thinking for them to give us all those subjects, it was a way of just making us. Uh, controlling what we do. Contro controlling yeah, controlling. Your time. Yeah, exactly. Controlling your time and also. I mean, there's positiveness towards it, where maybe it makes you kind of think in their level or those terms, because it's not going to make you a critical thinker. Where no, we don't, you we don't think on their level. We yes. think according to the way they exactly. want us to think. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. On their level, yeah. I mean, on what they want like us to them. think. Yes, they want us to cram, and then when they set exams, memorize. Yes, they set those exams according to what you you read. You understand? So. You have to put it exactly the way it is in there. So your own under, you can have your own understanding, but when you put it there, they say no. There's this formula that you're following, you understand? So it doesn't give you the space to become even creative. To, I mean, you understand what I'm saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. So for me, traditional education, I feel like they can do much better. They should just at least give us the basics and then from there let anyone just choose the field that is good at then just start from there i feel like they should just teach us certain life skills in yeah school. i mean teach us no about one told money, me how to teach make us money. about marketing teach us about whatever it is that we yeah. need to survive do you understand entrepreneurship exactly did i have a course like that i think did i it, those business business education no. but in there there's entrepreneurship no no there's sole entrepreneurship i, I can't even go, take business you don't know any kind of entrepreneur that there no i went to a different school so there oh. were certain things even i had a life skill class it's you understand? Yeah. so it was but not in zambia that's business. what i'm saying i know i can't i got i, got, I think i got an a in business at you took business yeah. you don't look like the type i took business i look like what <laughs> <laughs> CRE <laughs> Christian religion. <laughs> what I say. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's my view. Let us know what do you think on the comment section below. Do you think like um, traditional education should be abolished or should it be there and to be amended to some, you know, so it can suit uh today's world. Yeah, today yes, today's world. If you are a parent out there, would you or if sorry, not even a parent. Like if you're a man like me, or maybe if you're just watching this, would you but there's a man recommend? And a woman here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you're a woman also like her, would you recommend your child to go and do uh, what we call the traditional education out there? What do you think? Or would you just take your child to um, 
straight to what do you call this maybe focus on their focusing talent. on their talent yeah so yeah guys if there's anything you want us to react to let us know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and this is